What's the hardest thing about being a woman in 2023? There's lots of things that are hard. I think it's... <laughs> I think it depends on how you are a woman. Is it hard being a woman? Yes. The gender war between men and women has become a global phenomenon within the past year on the internet. Between the rise of the manosphere and Tate. Andrew Tate. Tate. There's a lot going on in the manosphere. There's a lot. And radical feminism. Feminism. Feels like it's impossible to have a conversation and listen to each other's issues without diminishing the other side. But no. what's the alternative? Men shouldn't talk about these things. No, I think no. men. But for once, take a listen and remember that it's not a competition on who has it worse. What's the hardest thing about being a woman? Hardest thing about being a woman is probably doing what everyone thinks women should do. Probably periods. Getting ready. Like guys have it so easy. Like you guys just have to shower. How does it feel to be a woman in 2023? Oh boy, good question. Um, uh, it feels great. I feel empowered. Um, I think that women have come a long way. There's a lot to still go, and there's a lot of opportunities to still take care of and things like that. But overall, I personally, I'm. I'm thriving. What's the best part about being a woman? There's a such thing as like pretty privilege. So less, yeah, we have that. Yeah. Uh, pretty privilege is definitely bigger for women than it is for men. But I feel like the best part of it, being a woman is just knowing where you stand as a woman and knowing that you have a lot of power as a woman as well. As much as the other gender does, you also have a lot of power as well. Free drinks. Does it feel to be a woman in 2023? Wow, okay, that's a loaded question. Looking at my life now compared to my grandmother's, We've come a long way. Honestly, it depends on where you're at and who you are. I feel like where I'm at and who I am feels fucking great. What do you think some misconceptions we have about you are? That we're overly emotional. I think we're just the right, the right amount of emotional that it takes for the world to change in positive ways. What do you wish that like men understood about y'all? That we're just as capable as they are. Maybe not necessarily physically, but like in every other sense that, you know, we can do everything they can do as well. Your experience, what's the hardest thing about being a woman? About being a woman? The fact that you face no one takes you seriously sometimes. Trying to convince people that there's nothing different about being a woman. The men just don't get it. It's a hard question. Right now, um, well, I just got dumped, so oh, that was yeah. rough, personally, <laughs> by a man in the fucking military, if you believe it. Um, periods, being a woman, having boobs. Trying to get blood out of everything. Oh, that was bad, <laughs> like, like this morning, and then I went, I was at work. So I was sorry, at work. <laughs> I was... So <laughs> I am so sorry. It happens. That was hard. You know, being the female experience is the hardest part of being a woman. When everyone, your stomach hurts, your head hurts, you're having period cramps, and you're also just in a bad mood. But it all comes back to that you're hungry. Can't, can't tell you why. How does it feel to be a woman in 2023? In 2023, honestly, this is the best time to be a woman, in my opinion. Like, I feel like the playing fields are, like, pretty level at this point. Like, you know, Ooh. Um, I don't think men take any of our, like, problems into consideration. I feel like that's a hard question because, like, I've only been, like, an adult woman and, like, being conscious of, like, who I am for, like, a couple of years. Like, I was born after the year 2000, so I don't think that, like, a lot has changed between, like, 2000 to now, let alone, like, 2010 to now when I actually, like, had a brain and was starting to, like, think about things. The expectation. And sometimes they are self-imposed. <laughs> The expectations that we put on ourselves and the expectations that you just see out in there in the world of how you should look, how you should be, how you should talk, how you should walk, how you should, how you should dress. Um, I do definitely think that like over the course of the pandemic, we've had some uh, interesting issues like legally in the government with like our rights being, you know, just up in the air, um, our rights being taken away for purely political reasons rather than like you know, protecting us. Um, also the rise of like Andrew Tate and those other weird Sigma male things. Has there been a time that you've had to change your behavior um, as a woman around men? Yes, because you have to make room for men's egos, I feel like a lot of the times. A lot of men don't realize that women can be just as gross as you guys can be sometimes. Like, like what? Like. There are lots of things that happen on our periods that are just really gross that like we talk about with other girls, but like I feel like we don't talk around men. Depending on that man and how they identify as a man, because I think it really 
matters like how you take up space and in what ways you take up space. So I find a lot of the times like with men who want to feel more in control as a woman, you find yourself making space for their need um, because women are nurturers and we find every opportunity to like nurture people as they come and they go. Sometimes like men will act grossed out by that, but then in their own conversations with other men, they talk about things that are equally as gross, if not more gross. So I feel like I've had to cater my like topic of conversation to be a little more like PC around guys, even though I know they can handle it, but there's just like some barrier that prevents us from intermingling with our like gross experiences in life. What's the hardest thing about being a woman? I was gonna sound weird, but competing with other women. I say for me personally, I feel like the thing about being a woman is that, especially nowadays, it used to be like it was be feminine, you know, be this, but nowadays it's almost the opposite, you know, there's like people are calling each other like whores and there's also um, like hardworking. Would you say that women have become more masculine? Yes, that's what I'm trying. Sorry, I'm a little bit. <laughs> I feel like it's and it's not even about if they want to be masculine, but it's like now these women are having to go do all these jobs now, you know? You're you say that's a good thing? Like you're saying have to do all these jobs. Would you say that it's a, you have the opportunity to? Or? It is an opportunity, I agree. But when it comes to being like more masculine and more feminine energy, I feel like more feminine energy is not is being empathetic, you know? Feminine energy is being able to like comfort someone and being kind. But I feel like Nowadays, you're not able to be feminine. You have to put your guard up. You have to be masculine. How does it feel to be a woman in 2023? We're making progress. And at the same time, I think there's a lot of um, young girls that don't know who they are, that media tells them who they are, and that they shouldn't look to the media to tell them who they are. Who should they look to? They should look to Jesus to find out who they really are and they'll be surprised of who they really are and they'll also be surprised at how much more that they can do where society limited them. What's the hardest thing about being a woman? Honestly, I think just the way um, society is trying to make us seem right now that we're weak. Um, in our culture, from my grandmother, she, the woman was strong. That's how it was always. And in fact, the woman was the one that led the way. In our culture, in the Native uh, American culture, it was like that, the Navajo tribe. But now, it made, it's like um, woman is not strong. And so, um, I don't think that's true. Is it hard being a woman? No. Yes. It depends. Um, it depends on the situation. Uh, periods are terrible, but I guess those aren't exclusive to women. They're exclusive to people with uteruses. I'm confused. <laughs> okay. um, what's the hardest thing about being a woman? I'm not a good in, candidate. In, in your experience? In my experience? Yeah, as what, what's been well, a hard experience? I'm coming from a different place because I come from, I am white and privileged, so it's kind of coming from a different experience than a lot of people, so I'm... Yeah, like, like get rid of the intersectionality, like, like yeah. just as a woman, what's the hardest thing? Uh, people thinking that they're smarter than you and better than you just because of their gender. Have you, you've experienced that? Yeah, a lot. I've decided uh, a couple years ago, I decided just to let people think that I'm dumb so that I can surprise them, I guess, later, because it makes it easier and no one's intimidated. It's also easier to be vulnerable when people think you're stupid. <laughs> so it's uh, it's shifted since you've grown up? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's shifted in two areas. There are parts that are good and other parts that aren't good. As far as, you know, like society, what society tells a woman that they should look like or what they should do. But like I said right there, looking to Jesus, knowing who you really are and being able to let him guide you that you can do great things and that you are someone, you birthed a child, you brought a child into this world, you know, that there's no one talks about.
how the strength of a woman to be able to go through childbirth and give a child that's what we're given you know we're given that um, gift of being able to birth children and not only that but to be able to birth the next generation in what God has called them to do. Do you see a world where that's like more equal? Yeah, I mean, I think we're getting there. Um, more and more people are splitting the checks and dates. <laughs> I think that's a good start. Um, Going off of that, <laughs> is chivalry dead? No, it's not. Um, my boyfriend's still a Southern gentleman and opens all doors for me without me asking. And that is big chivalry right there. Yeah. So if you, if you want to equalize things in the dating marketplace, should that also be flipped as well? Uh, yeah, I mean, I open other doors for him. He's just like at the car door before I get there. I mean, I buy him things. I buy him flowers or chocolates or whatever. So it's buy him flowers. Yeah, I mean, depending on how his day's going. Hi, Lauren. <laughs> yeah, you gotta buy your boyfriend gifts. It's just because. It's the greatest thing receiving flowers as a guy. Like, never happened. Yeah, no. I mean, depends. You just have to express what your favorite flower is to your girlfriend, and then they'll buy it for you. I don't know what my favorite flower is. I think I don't have a girlfriend. Well, what's your favorite color? Red. Okay, are you a rose person or like a hibiscus person? Probably hibiscus. Okay, that's workable. Yeah, open with that when you're trying to pick someone up. <laughs> hey, I like hibiscus flowers. Um, would you care to get me some? Is, yeah. That, is that? Yeah, sounds great. Yeah. That's my opener? Yeah, definitely. No, what's your name? Uh, my name's Oni. What's your name? Paige. Nice to meet you guys. Um, Jack. Jack. Thank you for asking. Nice to meet you. Um, is it hard being a woman? Is it hard being a woman? I don't think for me it's being a woman specifically. I think it's the intersectionality of it all. I kind of think that there's a different experience being a black woman. Um, and yeah, sometimes that can be really tough, not just from what's happening with the world outside of you, but even from what I've been taught being raised as a black woman, there are other pressures that we put on ourselves too. So yeah, it, it can be tough. Yes. What about you? I would say it definitely can be tough when it comes to like certain experiences that you've had when it comes to just terrible men that, that are out there in the world. Obviously it's not all men, but it's enough men to make you feel uncomfortable. Like I'm kind of scarred when I'm walking to my car from the gym. Like if it's at night and there's like a guy like kind of like behind me, I'm like hustling to my car. It's really just about like my own safety. Like everywhere else, I feel like it's pretty equal for the most part. I can have great conversations and great experiences with a lot of awesome men out there. It's just when I'm alone and there are few witnesses where it can feel hard to be a woman. Do you think there are any misconceptions that people have about being a woman? Like the female experience, I guess? That is a hard question for me because the first thing that comes to mind is maybe like people like when people say that women are like more emotional and like they say like especially on their period they don't have a period so it's like I can't say that but for growing you up, can draw generalizations though right like so that grow so I grew up with sisters and I see how they are I saw how they were all the time but I also had a father who was very angry and I feel like maybe some men out there don't want to say that anger and frustration and jealousy and these things are emotions when they are they only associate female emotions with something like crying or, or, or whatever it is being too empathetic or too emotional that's what they consider like emotions but everything that they feel and they express is also very much an emotion they just don't call it that they call it reason or I was angry because of this like they, they draw their their line to what made them angry and therefore it's not an emotion it is a, a reasonable reaction I think that's the misconception is that women are emotional and men are not when that's not true we're all very emotional we all react to different things differently or whatever it is it's just the feminine ones are considered weak when they're not if these interviews taught me anything, it's that men and women's issues are not a zero-sum game. One's progress does not mean the other's has to fall. And as long as conversations like these are normalized, we'll all be able to elevate empathy together. Next time we'll be listening to the men's side, so make sure to stay tuned.